we came across a woman in Kenya's Maasai land who was a former female genital mutilation cutter. Wakati siku alimwokoka alikuwa na tahiri watoto na tahiri miaka 9 akapata mia mbili ndio tulikuwa tunakula kama familia. Mstana na kaka kongosi kama hii nashika nakata na kwa kwa yende kwa wembe kwa ndo mpya ndio tulikuwa tunatengeneza wastana nakitoa damu naweka mafuta ya ngombe naosha na majani naosha na makojo yake inabaki kidonda nakaa wiki wiki tatu mwingine mwezi anapona na anaolewa FGM meant that a girl is now mature in the Maasai community our community practices FGM as a rite of passage where girls at, um, at around 8 years old, old they go through mutilation, college mutilation because of the human rights aspect and they are prepared for adulthood. Sought to know the number of girls she had circumcised during her career as a cutter. Matahiri tisa. Mimi ni matahiri. Mtoto wa miaka 17, mwingine ni matahiri mtoto wa miaka 14. Kwa hivyo hivyo ndio tulikuwa tumefanya samani. Lakini tulipookoka mimi nimeokoka 2007 sijafanya hiyo kazi tena mpaka leo. Na mimi saini na miaka 60 na 6 sijafanya tena hiyo kazi maana tumeona ni hasara, tumeona tunaumisa watoto wetu tukaacha na mwingine inatoka singine inatoka inasimia ina, ina tunapatia masiwa jioni anaamka niko na stena watatu wamesimia ndio nikaja nikaokoka nikaacha hiyo kazi niliokoka maana mtoto anasimia alafu mtu akiokoka uende kanisani haifai kumwaga damu uchungaje akaniambia niachane na nikaachana wengi ameolewa lakini hasara maana mtoto akiko mtoto mmoja alisaa na mtoto akakufa na baadaye ajapata mtoto tena nikasikia tumekata mpaka kisasi ndio nikamwambia wamasai tuache hakuna faida kwa warani wetu wamekubali kuoa msichana kama huyu acha nitumie mfano hana shida na mtoto anasaa vizuri na anakuwa tuma na mke kama vile ule alitaimu she now asserts that morans in their community are ready to marry young women who have not undergone the cut Men are the key decision makers in our homes, so it's very important to involve them. That's why we are having many people coming out to support anti-FGM campaigns. We have many FGM. We also have more running FGM in the Catholic South and more of Akina Pasanga. And I feel like our involvement with men goes a long way because these men will go ahead and push out their wives to stop we also crossed paths with an elderly woman who previously fully relied on cutting young girls as a source of income She regrets having engaged in the business of cutting young girls to the extent of one bleeding to the point of death. There's a lot of poverty in our Maasai communities due to the over-reliance and over-dependence on livestock production. There's an undocumented belief, not a belief as say, it, it is estimated that Maasai women overstay in hospitals when they are in labor. They are about to give birth. And this is the result of FGM. 
So far, the two X cutters have already substituted circumcising girls with different endeavors to earn a decent living. Sahi na lima, ana lima, na lima na fuga. Iyo ndio sasa ndio nafanya maana samani wakati nina tairi ilikuwa anakula hiyo pesa. Kimo da ndo bargani. Mhm. Ile sadi ya rawele, ile ndio. Ile ile sadi ni ya rawele, ni kwa sababu ile ndio pesa. Sana na mbona rai ndio kwa bargani. Ni ranga ranga na kwa nyanga mimi ni kwa bargani. Mhm. Kenya ya kaira na rai ndio ya rawele. Wala jambo hili mwana rai ndio. Mhm. We were also curious to know the status of female genital mutilation in Zambia. For decades, the country has been known to have zero prevalence in female genital mutilation. It's not meant to be in Zambia, meaning that there is no Zambian tribe that practices it. The nation is, however, starting to experience some cases of the traditional practice. The first reason is that Zambia receives a lot of, most of them from up north. As you know, there have been a lot of movements of refugees into Zambia. But Zambia also is a very multi ethnic country uh, in that there is a huge population of settlers of many religions that promote female genital mutilation. You are aware that we have uh, quite a number of foreign communities in Zambia, living in Zambia, either as refugees but also as a, uh, as just, you know, uh, you know immigrants. The other group now, of course, is the fact that uh, uh, since this is a religious thing, people get converted into religions or sects that support this type of uh, mutilation. This practice definitely, uh, on the scientific part and on the medical part, is terrible. <laughs> 